Well, ahead of the election next week, officials nationwide say they're working to debunk false claims about the integrity of the voting process. This comes as the Republican National Committee, along with former President Donald Trump, are suing Democratic officials claiming problems with the process. Skylar Henry shows us how election officials are proving to voters that everything is legitimate. As we inch closer to Election Day, officials and lawmakers are working to ensure the integrity of the voting process. More confidence leads to greater participation, which is a good thing for our country. In dozens of previous cases, courts have found no evidence of widespread voter fraud. That includes claims about improper registration, non-citizens participation, and the voting systems themselves. How is this process, I guess, safe, for a lack of a better word? Every election jurisdiction, um, every county in the country has very clear rules about how ballots are handled. Chris Mann with the Center for Election Innovation and Research says as early voting expands across the country, poll workers are able to focus on other potential issues. It does a lot to help them, uh, give them more time to deal with any problems, whether that's a power outage at a polling place misinformation about voting procedures. And that misinformation is, in part, leading to an uptick in threats and abuse to more than 10,000 local election officials nationwide, according to the Brennan Center for Justice. It really, I think, has come as a, a shock to a lot of local election officials, uh, especially, you know, in non-battleground states, these areas that they've become the focus of this kind of attention. Officials are stressing that people with questions about the process should go to vote.gov and get information about voting in their jurisdictions from legitimate sources before casting their ballot. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. The Secret Service has already said it's protecting the election process as well. The head of the agency says on January 6, 2025, when the House and Senate count electoral votes, there will be more security protections in place.